For several days now, we've been asking you, the viewers, to answer at least two questions about measures on the ballot in our area and across the state. tv 20s David Jones is live in our social media hub with your responses. That's right. Last Thursday, we put out these two questions on social media, one having to do with Gainesville Regional Utilities and the referendum. The other being more general. It could be either statewide or local initiatives that you may be passionate about. We want to get viewers' thoughts and opinions. So let's go over the questions again. The first one, should we keep city commissioners in charge of the utility now known for high rates that will be Gainesville Regional Utilities or opt out for an appointed board that we can't vote out and why? The second question, which Florida ballot measure is most important to you and why? So we've given you the opportunity. Let's go through some of the answers that we've received. Pamela Korthoski, she's talking about the ballot measure that is most important to her. She says the half cent for Alachua County Schools. She says great public schools equals great communities. Our children deserve to learn in a healthy and safe environment. By investing in schools, we are investing in our kids. The second one comes from Lauren Keldson. This has to do with the Gainesville Regional Utilities referendum. She says, I vote no. Keep the city commission in control that holds those making decisions about GRU accountable to the owners, the citizens. Support, supporters of this referendum state that choosing to take control away from the commission and give it to an unelected authority will reduce people's bills. This is not true. Going back to the ballot measure that is important to the viewers, Linda, for Linda's uh, Amendment 4, that's the one having to do with restoring voting rights to Florida felons. She says persons who have paid their debt to society shouldn't be forced to wait years and having to grovel in front of the governor to get their rights restored. Lastly, going back to the referendum, Ron says, there's a lot to be said for accountability. Vote no. So those are the reactions that we've received from you. Coming up at 6, we're going to have more on voter turnout here in North Central Florida. We can break that down by numbers and by party. For now, reporting from the social media hub, David Jones, TV20 News. We continue TV20's coverage of the midterm elections, and we've been asking you social media questions on our Facebook page and asking for you to respond so that we could share your thoughts with our viewers. We've been asking for at least the past week or so, and as you can imagine, everyone pretty much has something to say, yeah. some more than others. That's where TV20's David Jones joins us live in our social media hub. David, what are people telling you? That's right. We're going to come back to those questions. We're actually going to talk a little bit about voter turnout. Now, I know we've still got some time left before the, all the ballots are cast. And of course, people are going to be getting off work, going to the polls right after. But what we can look at, it's actually pretty cool. We can see the number of ballots that have been cast already. So the website I'm on right now is votealachua.com. It's the website from the Supervisor of Elections Office. If we scroll down, we can actually look at all the different types of ballots that have been cast in Alachua County. So we you can see mail-in mail -in ballots, we've got over 31,000 ballots cast so far, early voting 40,882, nearly 41,000. And just today, this is the most updated number, we've got over 29,000 ballots cast in Alachua County. Here's something really cool. We can also break this down by party. So if you look at this, you can see this is Alachua County. We've got over 54,000 ballots cast by registered Democrats in Alachua County. Registered Republicans, we've got over 29,000 ballots cast. And for no party affiliation, we've got 17, almost 17,500 ballots cast. We can actually do the same thing with Marion County. So let's go over to the Marion County Supervisor of Elections website. We can look at the types of ballots that have been cast, looking at over 55,000 ballots cast just today in Marion County. 43,000 cast in early voting, nearly 43,000 cast Malin, we've got 243,000 active registered voters in Marion County. We can do the same thing, breaking it down by party type. So we're looking at about 45, almost 46,000 ballots cast by Democrats in Marion County, over 72,000 ballots cast by Republicans, over 23, nearly 23 and a half thousand ballots cast by independent voters in Marion County. Now, if you want to look a little bit deeper into some of these races, maybe you're getting off work and you're about to head to the polls and you're not sure on either maybe some ballot measures or some races, you can go onto our website, wcjb.com. If you look in the top left corner right over there where those three bars are, there's something called election. It's a little election tab under news. Click on that. You're going to be able to scroll through and see all the different profiles that we've done of different races and measures. You can look and see, let's see, we've got the House District 2 race. We've got uh, GRU, that referendum that we talked about just a few minutes ago and gave you uh, viewers thoughts and opinions on it. So really a cool resource just to be able to go online and maybe get a little bit more information about things you might be undecided about. For now, I'm going to throw it back to you guys reporting from the Social Media Hub, David Jones, TV20 News. Social media has certainly become a great force, it's certainly since the last midterm elections, <laughs> and it's an important thermometer as to what viewers like you are thinking and, and saying. And a lot of people like to follow social media, especially Twitter, with different types of comments on there. Election Day has been trending all day if you follow Twitter, and that's where TV20's David Jones joins us on our social media hub. David, what's trending right now on Twitter? 
Well, you know, we've been talking a lot of numbers. We've been talking voter turnout numbers especially. One thing we haven't really been talking about is reactions from the candidates, especially the gubernatorial candidates. Right now we're looking at Andrew Gillum's Twitter. You can see here he is with his family. It was about six hours ago, and he's out campaigning. He's been stumping all day as well as Republican Ron DeSantis. He's also been touting some celebrity endorsements that we can scroll up and look at. We're looking at one from DJ Khaled who endorsed uh, Andrew Gillum. We're also looking at one from Diddy. And when we go over to Ron DeSantis's Twitter, we can also see something along the similar lines. We see him touting uh, outvoting with his family. So we're going to pull that up. We're also going to look at pictures of, there he is, that's Republican gubernatorial candidate Ron DeSantis with his family outvoting uh, on the campaign trail today. We've also been following the accounts of the candidates for the U.S. Senate seat here in Florida, so incumbent Democrat Bill Nelson. We're looking at, he was touting an endorsement from uh, Senator Cory Booker. We're also looking at uh, Governor Rick Scott, who is running uh, to oppose Senator, uh, Senator Bill Nelson. So he also, along the similar lines, posting pictures with uh, fans, people he's out meeting on the campaign trail as he's out stumping. So uh, all these tweets, very active. Um, we can also look and see some things that are trending. Um, and it's pretty much everything relating to Election Day, Election Day being the biggest one, 1 1.2 million tweets today under that hashtag. Strangely enough, in our area, Mullen is tweeting. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I'm going to throw it back to you guys. Reporting live in the social media hub, David Jones, TV20 News. Let's hope that's good news. <laughs> All right, we have more to come when we come back.